What's going on guys, Britter back with the Odin Project and today we're going to start the introduction to Flexbox. As you'll learn, there are many ways to move elements around on a web page. New methods have been developed over the years and older things have fallen out of style. Flexbox is a relatively new way of manipulating elements in CSS and its debut was revolutionary. Many resources put it near the end of their curriculum because it is somewhat new as a technology, but at this point it has become the default way of positioning elements for many developers. Flexbox will be one of the most used tools in your toolbox, so why not learn it first? This section contains a general overview of topics that you will learn in this lesson. You will learn how to position elements using Flexbox. You will learn how about flex containers and flex items. You will learn how to create useful components and layouts that go beyond just stacking and centering items. Before we get started, Flexbox layouts can get a little complicated. In a previous lesson, you learned how to inspect and debug things using your browser's developer tools. Those tools will be crucial for you in the following lessons. If something isn't behaving the way you expect, inspecting it in the developer tool should be your first step every time. Let's flex. Flexbox is a way to arrange items in rows or columns. These items will flex, i.e. grow or shrink, based on some simple rules that you can define. To get started, let's look at a simple demonstration. For all the exercises here, take your time to inspect the code and really understand what's going on. In fact, playing with the code yourself will make it much easier to retain this information. Alright, so it looks like what's going on here is they've got a div class with flex container and then they got one two three and that's what's causing one two three we'll get into exactly what's going on here soon enough but for now let's uncomment the two flex related css declarations in the above code pen by removing um, by removing the slash slash tags around them then check out the result so this that. Wait a second. Oh, I guess we were supposed to delete both of them. Oh, that puts them beside each other. So display flex. This selector selects all divs inside of the flex container. So that puts the divs next to each other instead of on top of each other. That's pretty cool. Commas prevent the browser from interpreting lines as code and are wrapped around specific tags. CSS uses slash star as an opening comment tag and star slash as a closing comment tag. While HTML and JavaScript have their own syntax, commented out lines of code can be re-enabled simply by removing the comment tags surrounding the code. All three divs should now be arranged horizontally. If you resize the results frame with the one times, 0.5 times, and 0.25 times buttons, you also see that the divs will flex. So if we resize it, so we just got one. Let's try 0.5. What does that do? Oh, hold on. That's not what I meant. I meant do this. Okay. You also see that the divs will flex. They will fill the available area and will each have equal width. If you add another div to the HTML inside a flex container, it will show up alongside the others and everything will flex to fit within the available area. Let's try that. So let's do div class four. Close that, then let's close our div. And looky there, it added the fourth one already. That's pretty cool. Okay. Um, if it's hard to see what's going on in the small embedded code pen, feel free to click the edit on code pen or fork on code pen button. This will bring the example into a full size environment. Some of the later examples might especially benefit from doing this. Let's just go ahead and test that fork on code pen. Oh, I kind of like code pen. I like how it has both of them open, or all three of them open, JavaScript too. 
and then there's our there's our buttons. Let's try to add a fifth one just for the fun of it. Okay. I think I like Flexbox already. Like, why wouldn't you use that? It seems very easy. Okay. Um, flex containers and flex items. As you've seen, Flexbox is not just a single CSS property, but a whole toolbox of properties that you can use to put things where you need them. Some of these properties belong on the flex container, while some go on the flex items. This is simple yet important concept. A flex container is any element that has display flex on it. A flex item is any element that lives directly inside of a flex container. <clears throat> Somewhat confusingly, any element can be both a flex container and a flex item. Said another way, you can also put display flex on a flex item and then use flexbox to arrange its children. So this is the flex container, so then the divs would be, and the other one would be the flex items. Also a flex container with flex items, and then this is also a container with items. Okay. Creating and nesting multiple flex containers and items is the primary way we will be building up complex layouts. The following image was achieved using only Flexbox to arrange, size, and place the various elements. Flexbox is a very powerful tool. Knowledge check. This section contains questions for you to check your understanding. What's the difference between a flex container and a flex item? The containers, what holds all of the flex items? And how do you create a flex item? You do the flex. Um, what is it? Display flex. Alright. Um, there's an additional uh, resources here, the Flexbox tutorial. We're not going to do that here, but I encourage you guys to do so, and I'm going to mark this one complete, and I will see you guys on the next one. Bye!